Hello, welcome back to another, 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 how to bloke. Now, because it's Christmas is coming, I thought I'd make sure you how to make some onion sauce. Onion sauce, kind of like a sweet onion sauce, like a... Jam. Jam, yeah, thank you, jam. Not chutney so much. Marmalade. Put, marmalade, yeah, that's a good another name for it. They call it onion sauce, though. There is other, other onion uh, sauce, this is white, but this is what is not going to be white. It's going to be all white, but it's not going to be white in colour. Now, for this sauce, we're going to need some onions. That's pretty logical. So, we need a, some big ones. Big Spanish onions, or better, big onions don't have to be Spanish. Big onions, you know? We haven't got big onions, there are loads of small ones. But, the trouble is with small ones, is it's more work to peel them. So, you can get somebody else to do this. Could you use red onions? Red onions? Yeah, yeah, even better. Even better. Even sh shallots are even better still. But this is a this is a your most basic job. Right, we're gonna need a pan like this with a lid. It's got to have a lid on it. We must have a lid, right? And you've got to seal, not seal hermetically sealed lid, it's gotta be one that's a, a nice fit. Right, so cut the end down, down like that, and then go in like that. And it's gonna be chopped that way. You don't want it any bigger than that, because otherwise you get big bits of onion and it won't be so good. So so I'll just show you, I'll just do two, just to show you which way to cut the onion. So we're not going to cut the onion in rings, we're going to cut it in slices. This is sliced onion. So let's do another one to show you. This one here, these are good onions. I've got a bigger bag that was like really cheap as well. Oh, maybe that one isn't, but normally they're good. So. Yep. Uh, I won't do all these onions to, to bore you, but I just want to show you about chopping these things. It does make a difference. It does make a difference to the presentation and oh, I don't know flavour as well, I guess. But right, so don't, what you don't do is get the onion like that and cut it that way, right? Because so, if you do that, it makes an onion ring like that. You see. So we don't really want that. We'll keep that, but we don't want to do that. We've got to cut it down there. So there's the there is the top and there's the, the bottom. We'll run the other way. So we're gonna cut it straight down the axis. And then we're gonna cut it into like quarter uh, yeah, quarter inch pieces. So they're that thin, look. Like that. Okay? okay. So we're gonna chuck that in there. So we're gonna just gonna pause the camera now, I'm gonna cut all these onion ups. I've got let me see this one, two, I've got six onions for this. So that's enough to make a batch of onion sauce, or onion jam or onion marmalade or whatever. That'll last you a good week in the fridge. So I mean you can bop, you can what do you call it? Preserve this stuff. And we've got some um, kilner jars, whatever they're called. Sterilized jars. Sterilized jars. They'd have to be kilner jars. St sterilized jars. Uh, you, could, this, you could, you could, uh, you could, you could gift this, couldn't you? Yeah, it'd be a great stocking yeah. filler yeah. For, for Christmas hampers. Yeah, instead of buying things for people, make things for people. I mean, I would personally, I would, I would try out the recipe first because it might be not so good, and you'll give them this onion marmalade, and they'll go, what? No, but this tastes good. Well, I know it tastes good, but if you've made it only for the first time... Oh, okay, I see. You've got, you you got to practice it first, at least once, yeah. before you give it to somebody else. I'm on, on yourself, it doesn't matter at all, you know? Yeah. If it's rubbish, turns out to be rubbish, then well, so what? And what could you eat this uh, onion marmalade with? Gore! Oh, steak. I love it with steak. Uh, it doesn't have to be real steak, it can be... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, burgers? Yeah, burgers, burgers, uh, goes with, mo any, anything, goes with mixed grill, superb, superb mixed grill, superb, uh, sausages, what else does it go with? Uh, roast meats? Roast meats, yeah it does, roast meats, yeah, I mean, don't you, I mean, so, uh, people have it with everything, they just, it's just like, uh, here in France, isn't it? They yeah, they do. They just put, you know, it's just there. 
alongside the the, the mayonnaise or the, the, the mustard. gravy or mustard or whatever. It's just a, yeah. a relish to put on the... Ooh, ooh, cheese. Cheese? Yeah, hot cheese though. Yeah, well, like with goat cheese, that goes well, doesn't it? Yeah. Or anything, nice mature cheddar. Mac and cheese? I don't know. No, no, mature cheddar. Yeah, mature, yeah, mature cheddar for sure. Anything that you need a little bit of sweetness with um, is good. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not really, you don't see it often, you don't see it often in, uh, in the UK. Uh, this uh, this kind of onion. It's a French thing, isn't it? Yeah, it can't, yeah. I don't know why, it's super good. The kind of French onion, you're thinking, oh, it's French onion soup. It's not French onion soup at all. Nothing like it. Not a soup, it's a jam. But I would say that if you like French onion soup, you'll like this. If you like jams, marmalades, you like things, if you like things like fig jam and something to have with your Stilton. Right. So we need to get these things going. Now we're going to put them on here, this one. And we're going to put going with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, you could use uh, ordinary oil, cooking oil, but I'm going to go with it. olive oil. It is quite good. How much? I don't know about that much. Two tablespoons, maybe. A little bit of black pepper. Like that. A little bit of salt. Like that. And then, we're just going to let that... Go, let the onions go a bit translucent, you know, render them down a little bit, and we'll be back when that's happening. Uh, anyway, uh, we're back. Now, onions, look at these onions, two balls. Now the pan is like, this is, this is how uh, kind of reduced they are. As I say, they're not fried, they're kind of steaming in their own juice. Now, they don't put any water with it, just, just keep it on a high, look, that's a high ring. Keep stirring it, let it reduce. So we did have onions up to here. Now we've got them down to there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add some uh, more stuff. Now with this, this recipe, you can have it natural. Natural meaning without wine in it. Yeah. The wine doesn't, you don't, can't taste the wine, it can't taste the alcohol, like that. it's just the flavour. So you can, have, you can have red wine, which is popular. You can have white wine, which is popular. Or you can have uh, balsamic vinegar flavour. Which is popular. I've got some here, I think this is it. Isn't it? Yeah, balsamic. So, what we're going to do today is. Could you have down. wine and vinegar? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Right, so we need to put some sugar in. How much sugar do you need? Well, I reckon I'm going to go in with four heat tables, tablespoons like that. One, two, three, four. Right, you can always add it a bit later if you want to, no problem. But four, four tablespoons is good for that, I reckon. Now, uh, balsamic. Let's go with a bit of balsamic. I'm going to use this because it's uh, vinegar and I don't like to do it just freehand. Alright, one, two. Two vinegar. And you're going to think, oh, it's going to be sour. It wouldn't be, because you've got the sweetness of the sugar. See? Ah! You see how the chemistry works? Oh, it smells amazing. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with... Now, this today we're going to go in with some, some red wine today. How much red wine? I don't know. A half a cup full. Well, how much is half a cup? I'll show you. So. It smells so good. Half a cup full. Now if you get this, it's not for wine for, you know, for, you can taste the alcohol. Half a cup, I haven't got a proper wine glass at the moment, but about that much. Okay? So that's how, that's how big my hand is, that big the glass is. It goes in there like that. Now, what's ha got to happen now is it's got to simmer for a long time. A long time. Uh, how long? An hour. I'll put it on for an hour. Do you have to stir or do you? No, you do. Come, don't just leave it there. Put it on the lowest low. Uh, where's it go? Here you are. And stick it on it. It must have a lid on it. Like that. And just leave it. Just, it's got to bubble away and, uh, 
and do its stuff, you know. You can't cook it quickly, you can't say, oh, uh, just knock up some uh, relish in, uh, in, uh, in 10 minutes. You can't do it. Impossible. So that's got to be like that. Cooking away like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back in an hour. What time is it now? Oh, top past one or something. We're going to come back in an hour and we're going to taste it and adjust it for uh, sweetness or uh, a bit more vinegar, a bit more wine maybe or something. I don't know. Just have a just taste it and have a look. See what it tastes like. So I'll see you in an hour. After an hour, see? Uh, right, let's have a look at this onion sauce thing, me Bob. Now you can see that's coming on nicely. It's still, uh, the onions are boiling down, reducing, it's good. Right, now that's got another hour to cook now, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll give a sort of uh, a taste, see what it's like. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. Let me try again. Again? Always use a different spoon if you're tasting, because you don't want the bacteria of your mouth going back in there. Right, so another one. Here we go. Oh, you'll like this. I thought, I forgot, another good thing goes with is salmon a la plancha, which means uh, salmon cooked on the, on the top, you know, on a flat plate. Yeah. That needs, um, no, I'm going to leave it like that. I was going to say, needs some more sugar, but I'm going to leave it. So, another hour, keep it on very low, keep the lid on. That water's got to evaporate, really, so it's got to be a time of a, got to turn into a jam. Okay, so we're back in another hour. Hello, we're back. We're back. We're back. Uh, how long have you been cooking? Well, I reckon two and a half hours. That long? Yeah. Now, it, perhaps if you cut the onion a bit smaller, it would take less time. But, but, I don't think you can get this perfect without cooking it for at least two and a half hours. Maybe three. Even four. As long as you don't let it go dry, Keep it on a simmer, it'll be better. Caramelising onions takes a while, you can't do it, you know, it won't, yeah. it won't do. So it, it just takes a while. Now, come and have a look at this. Okay, so this is, in, in France we call, they call this um, confit de onion, or in, Engl in, in, in English it could be called onion confit. So this is what you get. Now, in my opinion, this, this needs to be cooked a little bit more, another half an hour, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, yeah because, you now, what happens with this is when it cools down, it gets thick. Uh, you know, it cools down to, like, room temperature, you don't have to put it in the fridge. It'll get thick, you see? Mm. And it's still get, it's starting to get thick now. Those onions are cooked perfectly. All we're waiting for is the liquid to reduce a bit. Mm. Uh, now, look, this is this onion relish really here, look. Look at that. That's how it should stand up in the spoon. Okay, look. Just like that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is superb. Absolutely superb. And, you know, you can't, you can't get it better. That's perfect. Top quality. So, how are you going to serve this? Well, I think you probably serve it well, you could either put a dollop of that on the side of a plate or something with some steak or salmon or something like that. But this can also be served cold, of course. But now we're gonna we're just gonna put it on some. And a cheese board would be really good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah a cheese board. Christmas. When it's cold, when it's cold, room temperature, because that that will set solid. All oh, that, well, not absolutely solid, but harder. more or less, much harder. So. Yeah, there's no liquid left. Look, there's no liquid. Look, there's nothing in the pan there. Just uh, onion jam or relish or sauce or confit or call it what you like. But that's how it should end up. Like that, ladies and gentlemen. Like that. Yeah. Can you put it on a... Sure. Yeah. So, we're gonna, just going to put it on one of these dishes here. So, this is hot. A hot one. Doesn't have to be super hot when you serve it. it. Can be just like room temperature or whatever. Slightly warm, I think, is the best thing. Yeah. Slightly warm. Looks and, lovely. And uh, people can dig in the, into that. 
I think that with a bit of cracker and some cheese. Oh, fantastic. Or like a baked, oh, I know, a baked uh, camembert or a brie. That would yeah, be really good. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, a bit of a thing there. But that's, that, that's all you need. That, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And uh, so, hope you enjoyed it. So, anyway, I have more recipes up here. I have quick tips up here. I have DIYs down here, and I have, if you want to subscribe to me, this channel, whatever, I'm down here. So until next time.